Hey guys, so I know I haven't weekly vlogged in a little while now. I attempted it um, like last week and then it failed miserably so I ended up just doing a, a Swanage vlog. Um, but I thought I would vlog, do a weekend vlog um, instead. So it's it's Saturday now, Saturday the 21st of May. Um, I'm hoping to just have a kind of laid back, chilled out Saturday because um, this week has been incredibly stressful um, and I, I sort of, I went out with Beth last night, um, or she picked me up from work and we went to um, Castle Point which is like a, it's not really a, sh a shopping centre, I don't know what you would call it, like a, re uh, like a retail park kind of thing more than, it's not really like a shopping centre or a mall. Um, but we popped over there, um, she wanted to track down some sunglasses, um, she's notoriously fussy, um, with sunglasses, um, so we went to TK Maxx and we were in there for ages for her, um, getting some sunglasses. Um, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of broke till payday, <laughs> um, so I didn't want to really do a lot of shopping, um, I picked up a few bits with some boots points, which was cool because we finally have Nick's, um, I know you've been able to get NYX over here, but I think only NYX sold it or something, I, I don't know, I've never come across it anyway. And I've never wanted to buy it online because I don't like to buy makeup unseen. Um, so yeah, they would literally had this stand put up, um, I think the lady said like two days or something, so they had literally everything. And it was massively overwhelming because literally I've not, I've not really looked into NYX very much because as far as I was concerned I couldn't get it, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it was massively overwhelming. I have no idea um, what else to pick up from there. Um, but so yeah, if you guys have used um, any NYX makeup um, and you have like recommendations for me, I would love to know because I am a bit of a makeup junkie. Um, I've actually just bought some new storage um, last weekend. Um, basically I had these old rattan drawers, well they're not old, they're not very old at all, but these drawers that I had various things in, not makeup, um, like notebooks, stationery, etc. And I thought about getting rid of those or condensing them down and replacing them with um, an 11 tiered drawer, um, which is going to store only like makeup related things. So I, I might flip you around and show you. Um, so I haven't really finished tidying that up, condensing things down. So my room's kind of in a little bit of a flux at the minute, um, but I'm enjoying it. But anyway, total tangent. Um, so yeah, I ended up picking up three things from NYX because like I said, I had some boots points, so I felt like I could do a little bit of shopping. Um, I picked up the NYX Micro Brow Pencil because I've heard this is kind of a good stand-in for the Anastasia one. Um, and it's got like the little spoolie on the end and I went through a stage of doing like <laughs> have, of growing out my brows because um, if you look back through my really old videos you will see um, from my youth um, over plucking eyebrows which is kind of a thing for a lot of people um, at the time so I've grown them back in um, so I do love brow products and yeah I picked out this one they had loads of different brow products so I think I might go back. <laughs> I'll definitely go back, Erin, what are you talking about? You'll definitely be going back. Um, the other thing that I picked up was um, something I did actually need because the one I've got at the moment, one, isn't the best and two, is running out and it's an uh, um, eyeshadow primer and this one is supposedly a waterproof one so I'm super duper excited to try this out because I know this might be a little bit TMI but I have um, very oily skin and even on my eyelids I um, have oily skin so I can't wear eyeshadow without a primer because it just creases like hell. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for a good one and then I picked up a slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner love the name of this and i could have bought all of these i literally was overwhelmed by the selection of lip liner colors so i will be going back and definitely be indulging in some more lip liners and i got the color nude suede shoes which i don't know if you're gonna be able to see because this really poor lighting it is definitely a me color so yeah, super excited about that. So yeah, like I'm saying, today I'm hoping to get a little bit more tidying up and stuff done in my room. Um, I've also got maybe some films to watch. Hello Lewis! Hello. You're wearing your vintage Arsenal shirt. Mm -hmm. 
What are you doing today? Playing Uncharted. Why are you playing Uncharted? Because I'm waiting for Battlefield to download and it's taking 36 hours. Battlefield. Is that the new one that you showed me the trailer for? Is that the old one? The old one. Oh. Um, what was I going to say? Are you getting the new Uncharted? The old, the last one? Yeah, well, I get a new hard drive. Because oh. I don't have enough room on my PS4. When are you getting your new hard drive? Morning, guys. So yesterday my vlogging kind of fell by the wayside again. Um, I didn't get up to much. Um, I, like I said, played some PlayStation. Finished the book I was reading. Really enjoyed it. So picked up the next book in the series. Um... And in the evening, we went over to my grandparents and watched the FA Cup final. Um, so yeah, not an awful lot happened. I'm still in my pyjamas this morning. I'm about to run a bath because I'm meeting my friend Mark for lunch. Um, he's He goes to university in Edinburgh, so I don't get to see him all that often. Okay, so these are my new drawers. There's like 11 drawers there. They're not all completely full yet. Um, like this one has like all the eyeshadow palettes in there. This one is my favourite drawer and it's probably the most indulgent. And that is the lip drawer. Um, as you can see, lipstick is probably my favourite thing. Like I do have a thing for lipstick. Oh, I can't shut the drawer. Um, and then there's another one for eyeshadow palettes. There's like a lip balm. Um... What else is there? Blushes, bronzers, face stuff. There's actually a drawer down there for like all my technology, like chargers and stuff like that. Hair straighteners are in there as well. So it's not all just makeup. At the top, I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. This was a perfume box and I really like the box. So I feel like I should recycle it somehow and use it for something because it's very pretty. But I don't know what yet. And then I've bought these acrylic holders for my makeup brushes. And I absolutely love them. They were like £2.50 on Amazon and I ordered them on the Tuesday and they came the Thursday they were so fast and they're really good quality they're quite sturdy and thick um, so yeah I've got two of those and I've actually ordered another one um, ready so yeah I'm really loving my makeup drawers so far now just waiting at the bus stop the bus is due in six minutes apparently so we shall see we shall see um, so yeah, it shouldn't take too long once I get the bus, it normally takes about 20 minutes maybe to get right into the centre. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping, I was supposed to meet Mark at half 12 and it's now 12 minutes past 12. So, Sunday service for buses, bane of my life. But I'm really looking forward to seeing Mark. I know I've said that already, but I am. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Hi Mark. Hi, uh... <laughs> He's probably weirded out by this in case you can't tell. <laughs> and there was, uh, there's no one that I really know well enough to live with? No. Okay. My subscribers, Mark, are quite used to me babbling. <laughs> So, they're quite used to it. I go off on proper tangents, it's crazy. Oh. Do you remember last time we came here and we crashed a wedding? <laughs> yes! <laughs> we didn't realise the wedding was on. No, we totally didn't and we just, I bet we were in photos somewhere. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Living situation. That's pretty great for YouTube, yeah. It is. Well, I just think it's the suspense because it's only half of your ramble. So now people will want to know about your living. <laughs> Three years ago? I randomly had a concert. <clears throat> so, Mary Shelley's mother. Ooh. I just think it's quite cute that our favourite pub, which we go in every single time you're home, is obviously right next to where she is. It's because we know where it is. <laughs> and yeah, so grave of Mary Shelley. <clears throat> right here. And Percy Shelley. It's quite a cute church, really. And since it's in Bournemouth, there's a lot of hills. There is a lot of hills. Have you been to Exeter? You've been to Edinburgh. 
<laughs> Exeter is all hills. Uh, I hated Edinburgh it. Edinburgh has four hills, apparently. But they seem to be, like, everywhere you seem to be. <laughs> One continuous <laughs> hill. One continuous hill, yeah. Oh. Gosh. guys so it's now about quarter past four and I just got off the bus and I'm walking home in considerate car driving along the road like that um so yeah um, Mark and I exchanged birthday presents because we obviously his birthday was earlier on this month and mine's in March and we haven't seen each other since so exchanged birthday presents had a really nice lunch as you guys saw um, and had a little walk around town, did a little bit of shopping, not lots because neither of us really have the money to have gone crazy, but um, had a good time. I'll show you what I got actually if you guys are interested. So, yeah, just walking in now, I'm dying for a drink. Um, it keeps kind of going sunny and then kind of going muggy, so I'm really hot and I need a drink. So, I've been home about an hour now, sorry I'm a bit of a hot mess, um, I've just got back from taking Rosie out, um, I'm really quite warm, um, but two things, um, I used the NYX brow pencil that I bought the other day today and I'm kind of loving my brows right now, and I've also used the eyelid primer, um, and there's been no creasing, I don't know if you can really tell, um, so yeah, I'm very impressed with what I've tried from NYX so far, so I'm definitely interested in going back and like buying a ton of things, um, eventually. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, so, like I said, Mark and I exchanged birthday presents. Um, he is very much uh, inter interested in cooking and baking and things. Um, and he knows that I am to a certain degree, but I'm not very good at it. So we very often, um, I buy him cookbooks. I actually didn't this time, but he actually got me mug crumbles. So it's like simplistic um, dessert making. And there's even some savoury crumbles in here. And the idea is that they can all just be prepared in a mug. So I love that idea. I'd probably substitute mugs and make them in mason jars maybe. I think that one might be quite cute. Um, but yeah, they should be ready in three minutes in like the microwave. So I'm quite interested in trying these out. There's one in here that is a uh, pecan and apple. All over that. I really want to try that out. And he knows I love my adult colouring books. Um, so he bought me two. He got me the Mandala's colouring book. Um, which I don't actually have another Mandala one. So this is pretty cool. And in this series they also do um, a dot to dot. And an amazing world, uh, world colouring book, so famous places to colour in. But I love the colour of this one. I think this is gorgeous. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I just, I love. I'm amassing such a huge collection of colouring books, and I haven't actually got through one of them. Um, the other one he got me was Animals Night and Day, and he got me two funny little books, which are Sod Calm and Get Angry, and Shit Happens, so get over it. And they're funny little. Um, books with advice for hard times and they're full of funny quotes um, so I like this one the most I think um, from Albert Einstein only two things are infinite the universe and human stupidity and I'm not sure about the former so um, yeah those are my presents from Mark which I absolutely love and I'm really grateful for um, we did actually pop into Waterstones. I haven't been into a Waterstones for ages, um, but we had a little a mooch around. So we went in, we circled around like three, four times. I pointed out some books that I thought Mark would really, really enjoy, and he actually caved and he purchased two. Um, he bought The Art of Being Normal and George, which I can't remember who either of them are by. Um, but Mark is actually the president, um, I think it's the president, of his university's LGBT group 
so I thought there'd be some really great literature for him, even though I've not personally read them myself, I have gone off recommendations of people that I trust and I think that he would really enjoy them, so he's going to let me know. Um, but I actually purchased a book myself, which is very unusual for me to do so in Waterstones, um, but this is one I've had my own for a really, really long time, but I've not actually seen it in person, um, I've only seen it online, um, and it's Reader and Married Him, Stories Inspired by Jane Eyre, and it's um, edited by Tracy Chevalier. And I absolutely love this. I love that it's like a heart, but it's also a pomegranate, and I absolutely love it. And it has loads of stories from lots of different authors on here. So, as you guys know, Jane Eyre is my favourite classic novel. Um, so, I really wanted to get this. And I actually, I recognise Patricia Park's name on here because I recently picked up a Jane Eyre retelling by her. Um, and I recognised Emma Donoghue. Um, Susan Hill, Audrey Neffenegger, um, who else did I recognise? I said Susan Hill. Helen Dunmore, I recognise her name. So, yeah, I'm hoping to really, really enjoy this. And then finally, um, Mark was looking for some sort of soothing mus muscle um, lotion or something. So we went into Boots and uh, Superdrug. Um, but I purchased... I say purchased, again, a bit like the other day, I have um, quite a lot of points amassed um, in different places, so I didn't actually have to purchase these, which I'm so happy about, because I really wanted this, and um, I couldn't, like, I didn't want to pay the actual money, so I used my points. The first thing is cotton wool pads, which is probably the most boring thing I could possibly show you, but I like these ones because they're big ones, um, they're not little round cotton pads, they are big, big squares, so you don't need more than one to really take your makeup off because they are so big. Um, so these are these are only 50 in here, but they are large ones, um, and I don't wear makeup every day, um, so these will last me a very long time, and sometimes when I wear makeup I don't always wear like a full face of makeup sometimes I'll only just wear eyeshadow and brows or sometimes I'll just wear lipstick which obviously you don't need anything to take it off it's very rare that I wear foundation powder blusher lipstick brows eyeshadow mascara eyeliner like it's very rare that I do that almost never actually and the last thing I picked up was something that I wanted for absolutely ages and it's the Mary Luminizer from the Balm um, I don't go into this super drug in the middle of town very often and the last time I went in there they did not have a balm. This time I went in they had an actual like full on stand and I like nearly died, I wanted everything but obviously I couldn't. Um, but I got the Mary Luminizer and I've heard so many things about this and um, I'm so excited to finally own it. So excited. Hey guys, so it's about quarter to eleven at night and I have to go to bed ready for work tomorrow. Um, hopefully it will be a better week than last week. Time will tell I suppose. Um, thank you for spending this weekend with me um, and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, I'm really quite tired um, and, but I'm loving how my hair's gone this evening um, since I've washed it. Um, really enjoying it so I shall see you guys soon happy reading guys so I'll see you guys soon like I say have a wonderful week and bye for now